This is a CT image, and there's a 3D image at the right bottom corner. As for the 3D image, there are two menus. The first one is for 3D observation, while the second is for 3D render. By which we can observe the 3D image from different angles. The third button is the MPR setting button. This is mainly for demonstrating the first image is the transaction incised by the blue line. The second is the sagittal section incised by the red line. The third is the coronal section incised by the green line. And this is the relation among these three sections, the coronal section, the sagittal section, and the axial section. The first button is for partial display, and it will only show the right half part after being clicked in order that the doctors can make a better observation. The same to the following options. The last button is for model restoration. The second button is the VOA adjustment, which can cater doctor's needs by adjusting the dot on every surface. Click the restoration button and the 3D image will be restored. The fourth button is for angle observation from left to right or back to front. Putting the mouse pointer on the 3D image first, clicking the mouse right button next, and then moving the mouse back and forth, the room in and out function will be realized. There are other buttons for the 3D render, which includes three different render effects, M1, M2, and M3. Click the C button to see the present render effect. And you can also adjust alone if the render effect doesn't catch your needs. And save the effect by clicking the C button again.